Okay, so I am about to finish up the front seam, um, just finishing it. Of course, if you have a serger, you can definitely serge the pieces together um, and just press it to either side. Since I'm showing all finishings without a serger, I am gonna go ahead and do a turn and stitch seam. So I have pressed my seam allowance open flat and then pressed it in half. And I'm going to stitch at the edge here of that fold all the way down on both sides of the seam allowance. So as I do this, I'm going to move all of the garment fabric out of the way. And I am going to stitch and back stitch at the beginning and end of my seam. If your stitches or seam allowance isn't like perfectly straight, it's okay. This is on the inside of the garment and we're really just stitching that fold to make sure that um, the seam cannot become unraveled by leaving it raw. So this is on the interior, it's towards the body. There's no top stitching. It really won't show. Um, as I was ironing, mine did get a little shaky near the pockets on the front design of the dress. There's no great way to finish this seam um, beyond a serger, just because um, of the amount of bulk here. So a flat felt seam would have a top stitch that's like off center, so that would kind of deviate from that angled pocket pattern design. Um, a fringe seam would add a lot of bulk and would feel kind of uncomfortable at the center front of the body. So just thinking about different options of seams, turn and stitch seems like the least bulky and the one that makes the most sense to me to utilize. But whatever you want to do is totally fine. trying to catch, capture all of the layers of the seam allowance here. On that side, I'm going to go ahead on this side and do the same thing. And this will help me capture the seam allowance at the neckline and hem of the garment. when there's one layer of fabric that's being folded or maybe two when it gets to be maybe three or four like this pocket it's a little bit more complicated and this really protects that seam also by um, having all of the raw edges turned inward towards um, in between the seam allowance and the shell of the garment so it protects it from fraying further. a lot of smoothing with my fingers as I'm sewing, 
trying to make sure I'm not catching the garment, but I am folding all of the layers of the seam allowance. Once it's sewn and the garment is opened up, I will press it flat again from the outside of the garment. Um, but my seam should look like this. 